In this video, I want to show you a simple trick that will spice up your static scene and make it look more dynamic and pro. The idea is to have a blurry, fast-moving background. Also stay tuned because at the end I will show you how you can fix a poorly taken shot so it's actually usable in the Vinci Resolve, the free version. So without further ado, tap subscribe if you haven't already and let's begin. You can use this shooting technique when your object is not moving and you want to convey more dynamism to the scene. I will show you how to do it with my Tamron 17 70mm zoom lens. So first set the focal length to max or near max. In other words, zoom in. You would probably need to move away from the object to have it in the frame. I had to move away a lot, so if you have wider lens, it's definitely easier to do it. But well, once you have your object in the frame, make sure you have focus on it and start to go around. Make it as smooth as possible. And that's basically it. Your image will be more dynamic because of the moving blurry background. It's simple, but not easy. For instance, here I tried to walk around the car using this technique, but the overall shot was a fail. It was not smooth and not in the frame all the time. But by adding some extra effects and transitions, you can probably still use this clip in your project. Let me show you how to do it in DaVinci Resolve. Ok, so first I will go to the moment, I think it looks ok. So right about here it looks smooth and in a frame, Ctrl R to enter Retime Controls, right click to open Retime Curves and I will create first speed point. Drag the ending of the clip to speed it up to our first speed point. Make the curve smooth instead of linear by selecting this white dot and choosing smooth. Let's make it even faster and steeper. You might not be able to see the white dot anymore, so drag this percentage number until you see it. Then select the white dot and adjust the steepness to your needs. And now it's ok. Let's go a couple of frames farther and create a new speed point. Drag it to the right, which will slow this part down. I will slow it down to about 35%. I can afford it because I shot in 120 frames per second. So here it is how it looks. Now let's go to the next part we think is ok. So maybe here. Create a new speed point and drag it to the right to speed it up. Proceed the same way as before. If you want to learn more how to edit speed ramp in DaVinci Resolve, check out this video, link in the description. Let me fast forward a bit. Next, in the track above, put the adjustment clip and trim it so it's only over the speed ramps. Add direction blur to it. And make sure the blur angle matches the movement. In my case, it need to be zero. For the last speed ramp I will do something else. Let me move away the adjustment clip and split the clip right in the middle of the speed ramp effect. I will close the retime controls, we don't need it anymore. In the effects choose camera shake as the video transition and in the inspector I will enable motion blur and increase shake speed control a bit. I will put over the adjustment clip but instead direction blur I will add digital glitch effect. Let me fade in and out the adjustment clip by dragging these little knobs. To finish the clip, I will apply the camera shake transition effect. You can easily copy the one we have already. To do that, hold Alt key and drag the transition to the end of the clip. Also, let me go back to the transition settings, so click it and in the inspector I will increase contrast a bit it will look more glitchy in my case. And we're done! If you add audio effects, your poorly recorded clip can look and sound like this. Hope you liked it, thanks for watching till the end. If you wanna support my channel, leave a comment and check out my latest products on my coffee page. See you in the next one, cheers!